There's this history of women who came through to compete and wear the Bruin uniform, who really set the stage for us. They've never been on a team like this before. The expectations were as low as they'd been in a while. Um, we were picked to finish fifth. We did not expect what happened. We were all just kind of like, well, here we go. It was crazy. The fans were amazing. It was packed. It was really evident that we wanted to win, but we wanted to win right. The fact that we even went undefeated and ended up going 32-0 was unbelievable because we didn't think that was even possible. Winning on one free throw ball, that's what they won. Winning afterwards, um, just dancing and blaring the music in the locker room. It's just an incredible thing of like, this was a crazy season and we just had a great time. I will never forget having this team over to dinner the first week of school. Um, <clears throat> I can picture to this day, um, standing in our kitchen and looking out into the family room. And this group was the loudest group I've ever been around. Everybody knew when the women's basketball program was coming to dinner because you could hear us. Uh, we just had a lot of big personalities. I still remember being in the quad for the first time with all 10 of us and just all of us laughing and being like, this is awesome. Like, I don't know any of you, but I feel like I know all of you at the same time. It was Elise and a whole bunch of girls. They were running towards us. And, and from that moment on, we knew there was a connection between the team and us. And once we start seeing, you know, hearing how well the team was and how the bonding was, uh, it was just really exciting. It felt like a family, a part of being a family. And I think the thing that was neat about the way you girls got along together, you're like sisters. The 2019 specifically was special um, because of our love and care and selflessness for one another. There was always laughter, there were always jokes. We would always try and roast each other. I think it was our chemistry off the court that helped us win on the court. And I don't think Scott knew what he was getting himself into either. I did though know who these students were that I had recruited, um, who was coming. I knew we'd be a good team eventually, I just didn't know when. You go into a year with no returning starters, 10 true freshmen, no captains, no, you know, you wondered where the leadership was gonna be. And so my honest hope was that we'd win 13 games. I can think of a game against Hope College and we were playing them to get to the final four and they had like a whole bleacher side full. And we were like, yeah, this has been a good ride. And so to make it past that to the final four, we're like, oh, we might as well go all the way now. Like, this is a really big deal. They had a, an inner confidence to find ways to win. Um, we're gonna make the plays when it matters, hit the shots when it matters. It didn't make any difference who made the points as long as the points got made. We've never been on a team like this before. It was so large and so well structured. I mean, this was just a group on a mission, you know, and then that turned into a charter flight and, and a, a charter bus. We played our semifinal game, got done at 8 p.m. The national title game tipped off at 1 p.m. the next day. It was our, the first game on TV that we'd ever played. And, and so, quick turnaround, you know, the fatigue set in. Um, traveling east three time zone is not easy, especially uh, two weeks in a row. This team, uh, was up 13 points with nine minutes to go or something like that anyway and was able to hang on. Um, when our legs were gone, uh, they found a way to make the plays down the stretch and out executed. You know, and then the celebration is like, I mean, what do you even do? You get it. You're in the moment and confetti's falling and our fans are going crazy and you get like, this is all of our hard work coming you know, coming to this one point. We didn't know what anything was gonna look like. Um, we just wanted to work hard and have a good time. And so being able to be in the championship game, uh, being able to compete for 40 minutes and just realizing like towards the end that we're gonna win this game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to have an ambulance to get out of that place. You know, I wanted to run down to the court they wouldn't let us go for a while, so we're just like, I want to get out there. They worked hard for that, and they deserve it. It really was the stars aligning. <laughs> when people ask us, how did you get there? What, did, what does it take? It was really all about love. The lasting things are like the relationships that you have with your teammates, and like, 
those funny memories you make that for some reason stick around. I can't talk enough about the community here, and I know that a big thing here is to be known. That's why I love George Fox Athletics. Sport is gonna get you here, athletics is gonna get you here, and then we get the opportunity to love on you until you ask us why. There wasn't a day that wasn't special at George Fox. I don't know, can we repeat the whole season again? It was just one game right after the other, and it just seemed like that year went by so quick. Honestly, it wasn't just us winning a national championship. It was this whole community. That group was so special for the love we had for each other, for um, where we were all coming from. And so I think that was the foundation of what made that year so special and why we ended up winning it all.